Hey everybody, Marcos Viegas here with John David Daxon, the trainer of Sergey Kovalev. Big fight coming up on pay-per-view. His man taking on Andre Ward to be claimed the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. Everyone's saying that. The winner of this fight is going to be number one pound-for-pound. -pound. But Andre Ward is a difficult challenge. Some would say the hardest challenge of your fighter's career. How hard is it for you as a trainer and how challenging is it to devise a strategy to beat someone like Andre Ward? It's a challenge. It's, it's not, it's, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's not as bad as people might, might think it is, but you just have to be smart because Andre is very calculated in what he does. He's, he's a very highly intelligent fighter. Um, and in order to beat him, you have to devise a plan that allows you not to get behind the eight ball. When I say not get behind the eight ball, you can't lose two, three, four, five, six rounds of Andre, and they got to play catch up. Well, when you try to play catch up with Andre Ward, brother, listen, you're never gonna ever catch up with Andre. He's too smart. So you have to devise a plan that allows you to come out the gate and stay and maintain and stay right there with him, so you can catch him with some shots to, to make him feel uncomfortable and to take him out of his comfort zone. And so that's what uh, Sergey has to do. Are you expecting like a slow type fight? Are you expecting the Andre that fought in the super middleweight tournament where he would throw one or two punches and then? smother and hold to kind of get a rhythm off of his opponents? I, I don't expect that kind of fight. I've, I've watched him, he, he, but he, that was five years ago. He really fought like that. In the past five years, he's had three fights, and, that, and not in one of those three fights has he done that. He slowed down a lot. Um, not, not so much where he can't still be evasive, but he's definitely slowed down a lot, and, and he fights a little bit differently. As, as one gets older, we all start to fight a little bit differently. And you know, maybe now he figures he, he can, at 175, he can punch a little bit harder and keep Sergey off of him. Well, that, that, that's right down Sergey's alley. Like, that's, that's what we want. We want to shoot out because, you know, Andre's going to come with, 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 with his clip half loaded and Sergey's got a full arsenal. So we would love for that to happen. But I think Andre's too smart for that. I think once he gets hit by Sergey and realizes this guy is, can punch, he's going to go back and, and, and try to slowly dissect Sergey and see if he can offset the thing that Sergey does best and, 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 and win the fight that he likes to win, a very tactical, slow fight. From the tape you've seen and you saying in other interviews that you feel that Andre has slowed down a bit, do you see a knockout happening in this fight? I, I, I can see the knockout happening because Sergey has that kind of power. If he catches him with, with a good shot, and not just one shot, you know, you have to set Andre up. You can't just look for one punch knockout because Andre is too smart for that. And you know, if it happens, hey, God bless us. But I, I think I think we have to work for it. We have to work for it, and you have to be smart and break just break Andre down. And that's what Sergey's going to do. You know, he uh, Sergey said, whatever it takes to win, I'm going to do it. You know, if I got to throw more shots, that's what I got to do. If I got to be smarter, that's what he said. That's, that's what I want to do. And then, so I, I love that attitude about it. You know, he realizes he just can't go in there and just walk in and knock him out. He has to work to get this victory. You've been entrenched with Sergey now since this fight was announced. Yeah. How do you see him? spiritually, mentally coming in to this last portion of training camp? Uh, his spirits are high. He's definitely he's motivated. He, you know, he wants to be the best. He realized this fight will give him that mythical pound-for-pound pound best fight in the world. And, you know, probably he can keep that, I don't know. But he, he definitely wants to do that. And he, he's hungry, and he, and, he, and he wants to definitely prove that he's the best. So this fight, that's what this fight represents to him. If beating a, a guy of Andre's stature allows him to, to, to become the best fighter in the world. Looking at a, another aspect uh, of this fight is the activity level mm -hmm. of Andre Ward. He's had a lot of fights this year. He's coming into this fight really sharp because of the two other fights. From the last two fights you've seen, have you seen improvements at all? Uh, not so much that I've seen improvements. I've just, it's just like you said, he's had two fights and they've allowed him to get some of the ring rust off. But the, the last two opponents that they had, they're nothing like the, the opponent's going to face on the 19th of November. A, a bigger puncher, a smarter fighter, a hungry fighter, and a fighter not afraid of you, uh, not afraid of all the things that Andre's accomplished. You know, and when you hear about that, it might put you in a, in a, in a position where it's like, oh my God, I'll find Andre Ward. So you care less, because guess what? He's fighting Sergey Kovalev, the crusher, a guy that can punch. So, you know, they're both in the same boat. So, definitely, um, I think, you know, Andre's he's good. And the, uh, the last two fights, he won them. But if you look at his career and previous fights, he hasn't fighting the same way he once fought. He's not, he, the, move, the movement's not there like it once was. You know, um, speed's still there. He's still got, you know, he, won, he never was the fastest fighter in the world, but he's definitely got speed. And he used that intelligence to make that speed work for him even better. 
So, you know, he's still, listen, he's still dangerous. And, you know, I'm not, I want the public to realize, I'm not saying Andre slips slip, slip so much. He's not dangerous. He's still the same fighter. He's still the same, uh, and he, upstairs, he's still has the same knowledge. He didn't, he didn't lose that. He's still smart. And he, listen, he, he's not going to stop trying not to get hit because he slowed down a little bit. Because he slowed down, if he's smart, then what he did, he, he, took, he took different things and added to his game to make him even better because he's, he's not using the legs like he once used them. So he's a very intelligent fighter, and you know it's not an easy fight you know, by any stretch of the imagination. So anybody that thinks I'm saying, oh, we're going to just run through him, I didn't say that. I said, we got to work for this victory, and that's what, that's, what, that's what we're here for in the gym to make sure that we can work to get the victory. You're a few weeks away now from the big matchup. It happens in two or three weeks. This last part of camp, what work needs to be done, and how are you going to go ahead and focus Sergey on the stuff that he needs to do? Just gonna, well, at this point, we're just going to try to fine-tune everything. All the things that we've been talking about that, that, that he needs to do to be victorious that night is the things they're working on now. You know, he, he, and Sergey has in his mind what he wants to do. I see things that he needs to do. So we, what I try to do is I try to incorporate both for him to make him feel comfortable. So, that I, so I'm not saying, man, do this, do this, do this. No, let's see what you, what you want to do. Okay, I see what you want to do. So let's work it this way and incorporate what I'm trying to get you to do to make it work for you even better. And so that's how, that's how we're doing it. We're fine-tuning. We're, we're two and a half weeks, and we're just fine-tuning right now. That's all, that's all we're going to do. We've done all the hard work. And that's all we're doing do now is fine-tuning. All right, John. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. You, we have our library voices right now because Sergey is actually right next to us. But this fight coming up in a few short weeks, Sergey Kovalev versus Andre Ward on HBO Pay-Per-View.